Rich from Keep Me Angling. We're going to continue on with uh, part four of our DIY Adventure Power Box build. As you can see, I've been working on the plate. Um, I don't know how clear that's going to come out on the, on the camera, but I've got a, everything marked with my four corner holes for mounting our lid that we talked about. I've got my components marked out and I have a tap uh, hole to um, so I can drill and get get all my holes cut out and then I'm gonna the last thing I'm gonna do is I'll go uh, the the mounting holes for the components I need to do that but I'll, I'll do that last that's just a regular drill bit um, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to real quickly show you uh, what I do how I do this uh, and then we'll get on get on the video because I don't want to take up too much time. I've got to salt your intelligence. I know you can all figure out how to drill a hole. This is just how I do it. Um, so once I get everything drawn out, I drill a pilot hole with this tool here. I think it's a number eight, I believe it is. So I drill a little pilot hole. Then I come in with my step bit and I'm just going to start drilling my holes. So you get the little pilot hole there, get it right in the center. Just take your time, get your stuff off so you can keep the, out, the, the outer edge of your hole. And then what I do, when I get that side done, I come back on this side, I fold all the other stuff in this so we can get rid of it. And I go back down to the other side of the hole. So what that will do will give me a nice, clean, smooth cut. As you can see, it's nice and smooth. There's no, there's no lip in there. Uh, you know, you got, you got to have a little bit of that fray right there. That's just, that's just gonna happen. You can tape it down if you want to. Uh, I sand these down once I get done with them to get all the pencil marks and everything off. So you can't really sell that anyway. So, um, but yeah, so that's how that's how we do that. Now I'm just gonna go around and finish drilling my holes. And again, I'm only using the one step bit, and then I'll fit everything. And if I need to drill a little bit more, I'll do that. smaller one here now remember this is a these small ones here for our plate so we're gonna go bigger than the hole on the plate because we want the switch to go all the way through the hole so these little tabs can grab onto our plate and not the wood so we can gauge that here we're looking okay kind of take your time eyeball as you go and then that way once you get a mark for where you're going on your step bit then the other ones go faster and then what I do is I test these to see how much I need to go so I need to go a little bit more on that one you don't want to make them too big But you do want them big enough where they just drop through. Boom, there you go. So that's perfect. So we're just going to keep drilling those out. So now I've got one about the size that I want it. So now I can just, I can put my step bit in there and I can see where I'm at. So if I'm looking, there's like one, two, there's like two steps in between that. I'm right about the second one there. So I'll just do that.
long as you don't go wider than the plate, you're okay. So see, that covers it all up, so you're good there. Now, I'm gonna make sure it drops through all of them. That one's good, good. Try to get my hand out of the way, so that one's good. That one's good. So, need a little touch on that one. And the first one's good, so touch this one up. And there was one more I had to touch up some right here. Okay, just touch those up. Drops right through. Drops right through. Now these over here were for our other components here, like our power or our main switch and all that stuff. So we have to drill that out a little bit more. And I go just a little bit at a time because I like a snug fit. I like a snug fit on my components. So I'll refit it a couple of times. Boom, it slides right in. Perfect. So now you're going to have a main switch there. So we need to do these two. Uh, because this one down here is actually going to be for that. But the circumference is the same with the power, uh, ma uh, master switch. I wish I could do drywall this fast. I'd have my room repaired already from the hot water leak. This one here is for our Atwood port. So we're not going to need quite as big a hole. However, um, nor I should say normally wouldn't need as quite a big a hole. But we are going to use one of these. Um, so we have to get the circumference of that because we're going to use a, a cap in place. So it is going to be a regular full size hole. fit right we know that'll fit and all of them fits nice in there fits nice in there and then our glow cup on the other side um, this is for our glow cup right we don't necessarily need it anything to fit down there because you got the two plates so it's gonna one's gonna bolt to this side and this side and you don't have an actual component sitting down in there now the last one we got to do is for our um, wire gland this one looks off a little bit, but it's because of the frame of the outside of the glow hole. So it is going to look like it's sitting that way a little bit. But I'm going to adjust it just a touch, but it's not going to matter. And the reason why I say it's not going to matter because all we got to do is get it big enough where the back side of that uh, wire gland fits in there. All right, so that's going to go here. Okay, so we have the back side there. Yeah, we're good. So it goes through there. I'm going to widen that just a touch. Just to clean it up on the back side. I think that, that'll do it good. Yep, perfect. Okay. So that's how we make our plate. Now, we're going to switch bits here. And all we're going to do is drill our holes for our hardware, our mounting hardware. 
this one on here first. I just use the same size hole for all of them. They're all going to tighten up the nuts to the back, so it's not going to make a big difference. This is important here because sometimes these holes are off a little bit. I'm going to line them up to make sure we're still good. Yep. I thought about getting a, a laser cutter to do this, which would be cool, but I don't build enough of them to justify the cost, so we'll skip that part for now. Everything's looking good. And I will go back, when I'm putting the screws and stuff in, I'll go back and clean these up. Okay. Got all that stuff off there. I'll clean it up here in a minute. Okay, so that's it. So all of our holes are drilled. Four holes there our glow cup, our wire gland we just test fitted, all our holes for our plate, our mounting holes, and then our holes for the switches, our quick charge USB, our port here, which is not going to be that side, but you know, on the other side, and then uh, the master switch. So this will actually go up like that. And it stick out about that far. And then our master switch is right there. Just like that. So I'm going to get all this stuff bolted down. Get this board cleaned up. And uh, we'll be right back with you.